So here's the full bridge ready and a test set up and the way I've got this is it's going to be a DRSSTC it's the DRSSTC driver it's got a flip-flop on it I'm going to run this as a dual resonant coil but before I do that while I test it just running it as a regular SSTC so the feedback CT is running off secondary feedback right now OCD hooked up to the primary but I'm really not going to use it so full bridge rectified just coming in I've got this bus cap 2200 microfarad I plan on switching that out later on to try running this staccato the gate on the blue channel and the, the uh, full bridge output on the yellow so right now I'm feeding 20 volts to the bridge I'm gonna cut the voltage up to 30 So about 230 kilohertz or so. I can't imagine this would be too happy continuous wave up at line voltage. 30 volts seemed like it was doing all right, uh, so now I'm going to try it at higher voltage. Now I've already cut it up a little bit and it seems to run all right. Issue is, just like on the half bridge, I'm dealing with some streaking issues between the primary and secondary. I probably won't be able to use this coil. I like how it works on the little half bridge I've got over there, so I'll probably put that back on the half bridge and this is just a test. So right now I'm going to put it at about, so that's 50 volts, 50 VAC. So right off the bat, you know, first thing I notice is with the full bridge, I seem to get about the output I would get if I was feeding double the voltage on a half bridge, you know, which obviously makes sense. That's the whole point. So again, once I get to a certain point, the output starts to stutter because then it's arcing between the primary and secondary there. You can see it starting to do it. Which isn't good. So I'm not real sure how I'm going to mitigate that. Well, anyway, before it starts to wig out and do some funny arcing, it honestly seems like the spark output would be sort of similar to a poorly tuned dual resonant coil. It's a shame I can't cut it all the way up without the arcing. So that seems to be a, a decent setting where I could sort of get an idea of the general output before it starts arcing over. afraid to bring it all the way up because I don't want a really bad arc to burn but when I slide it up to 120 I say that's not bad uh -huh. 
So at first I was a little afraid this thing would be pulling too much juice. Continuous wave, which it probably still will. I've been kind of running it like that for a little while. Heat sink's still cold. Everything still seems to run out right. So yeah, this uh, DRSSTC1 driver actually still seems to work pretty good. I was able to run continuous wave at 30 volts. Gets a pretty beefy arcs. The thing about it was is, and you know, as I was pulling a really beefy arc, it would keep the draw down to a couple amps maybe three amps but without pulling the arc it shot all the way up to like six or seven amps at 30 volt that's too much so i have to see how that translates to line voltage trying to run something like filtered cw